The following is a Sunday feast lecture given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada recorded on May 21st, 1972 in Los Angeles. So, this is the true picture of God. Jaya Radha Madhav. <clears throat> Jaya Radha Madhava Punya Bihari. Oh. He is simply enjoying Radha Madhava. You have seen the picture of Radha Krishna. Oh. So, eternally engaged in enjoyment. In the association of the gopis, gopijana ballava. And his only business is how to please the gopis. Ah. Just like here in this material world, the <coughs> young boy who loves a young girl. He tries to please the girl always. This is natural. Oh. Because originally uh, the same thing is there in God. It is a pleasure. It is a pleasure for the uh, male to please the female counterpart. Uh, that is originally created. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vigiti Alladini Shakti. Uh, this Radha Krishna love affairs uh, is the originally there. Radha Rani, the female counterpart, is the manifestation of Allahadini Shakti, pleasure potency of the Supreme Personality of God. He has got many potencies. Parasa Shakti Vividhaiva Sriyate. God, God means with His potencies. Just like ordinarily we are part and parcel of God, a minute particle, still we have got so many potencies. Every man, every living entity, not only man, the animals also, they have got various potencies, creative energy. So, you just imagine how much creative energies and potencies are there in God. This is the understanding. If I am a little portion, part and parcel of God, I have got so much potencies, uh, I mean the human being, or even animal, there are many animals, they have got just like a bird, he can fly in the sky without any mechanical element. He has got the potency. You cannot. If you want to fly in the sky, then you have to make some machine. But a small insect is flying very freely. Uh, without any mechanic. You cannot make such a small machine like an insect. That is not. But God has given him potency, although as a very insignificant, a small ant, insect, or you can very freely fly. Oh. You cannot live within the water. Oh. If you want to live with the, within the water, you have to make so many arrangements, submarine and this and that, so many things. But a small fish doesn't care, even the ocean. Fly. A small fish. 
When I was walking on the beach of Hawaii, uh, what, is, what is that animal in many... Uh, crab. So, when we are walking, they are flying towards the sea. Uh, he has got instinct or reason that somebody is coming, he may kill me. So, uh, let me have shelter of the Pacific Ocean. The crab is not going this side to the forest because he knows certain that the forest cannot give me shelter, the Pacific Ocean can give me shelter. This is psychology. Uh, I never say the crab is going this side, forest side. It is going to the Pacific Ocean side. And so far I am concerned, as soon as the waves are coming, I am going away from the ocean. Although I am human being. I cannot take shelter of the Pacific Ocean because I am not the potency. So in this way, you have to study. We are samples of God, uh, part and parcel. Uh, just like you take little sample from the Pacific Ocean, a drop of water, you can taste it, and it is salty. You can understand the whole water is salty. Similarly, living entities, they are sample of God, the small. Very small. You can create one Sputnik or jet plane and you take so much credit. Oh, I am flying in the sky. Why don't you give credit to God who is flying, flying millions of Sputniks in the sky? Not small, with so many mountains, seas, uh, houses, uh, trees, plants, and so many. You can see so many, the sun planet, the moon planet, and other, so many other. Koti su vasudhati vibhuti bhinnam. In each and universe, every universe, there are millions of planets. Koti su. Vasudhādi. Vasudhā means planet. Jasya prabhā prabhavato jagadanna koti koti su asesa vasudhādi vibhūti bhinnam tad brahma niskala manantama sesa bhūtam govinnamādi purisam tamang vajan. The brahma jyoti jasya prabhā is the bodily fulgence of God, Krishna, Govind. So on that effulgence, uh, Jagadana Koti, there are innumerable universes. It is not very difficult to understand. Just that you see, in the sun side, innumerable planets are floating. So what is the difficulty to understand that there is a signing, effulgence from the body of God, Krishna, and in that signing, effulgence, innumerable universes are floating. What is the difficulty? There is no difficulty. It is most scientific proposal. So these are the potencies of God. Not that I can uh, m show some magic and immediately I become God. They see the magic, real magic of God. Don't accept chief God. God must show godly magic. Just like we are showing little magic floating some aeroplane or Sputnik or jet. In the sky you are taking so much credit. So much credit the scientists are declaring, there is no God, I am God. Because I have made this aeroplane. 
And what is your electorate in comparison to these uh, planets? Uh, so intelligent person, they will give more credit to God than to these scientists and philosophers. Uh, because he can see the potencies. How much potency is there? Uh, so he has many potencies. In the Vedic literature we can understand parasa shakti vividaiva siyate in the Vedas, Upanishad. Uh, Nata sakajam karanam chavidhati. God has nothing to do personally. Nata sakajam karanam chavidhati. Nata sa shama odikascha drishtati. Nobody is found equal to Him or greater than Him. Nobody. That is God. Uh, if somebody is competitor, one God competitor, another God competitor, just that nowadays it has become a fashion to become God, and there are competition between one God to another. But actually nobody can compete with God. That is God. Not asa sama. Sama means equal. Odikastha, uh, or greater. That means everyone is subordinate. Everyone is subordinate. Everyone is lower than God. He may be very powerful, but nobody can be equal or greater than God. That is the basic information. Not as a Sama Odikasta Dishati. Don't find. They are also a great saintly person they are researching. That he is the greatest personality. Uh, greatest personality. So by research what? By great saintly person. Uh, especially by Lord Brahma. He is the first creature within this universe. Uh, so he has found by his spiritual advancement and research work that Krishna is the greatest. Ishara Parama Krishna. He gives his decision. Uh, the greatest personality is Krishna. Just like we are sitting, so many ladies and gentlemen here, we can analyze who is the greatest here. So, say for uh, arguing, you can accept that you are the greatest. But I am not the greatest. I have got my spiritual master. He has got his spiritual master. He has got his spiritual master. In this way, we go up to Brahma. Brahma is the original spiritual master within this universe, uh, who gave us the basic knowledge. He is therefore called forefather, uh, grandfather, Pitama. But he is also not independent. In the Vedanta, in the Vedanta Sutra, Bhagavad, it is said that Brahma is the first creature. There was no other, any other living entity when he was created first. So if I say that he also got knowledge from others, then the argument may be who is the next person to give him knowledge. So therefore Bhagavad says, no. He received knowledge from Krishna. How? From the heart. Tene Brahma Rida. Rida. Because God, Krishna is sitting in everyone's heart. Your heart, my heart, everyone. Ah. And He can give you instruction. His name is therefore uh, Chaitya Guru. Chaitya Guru means who gives conscience and knowledge from within. 
and the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, ah, Sarvasachaham Ridhisannivishtya. In everyone's heart I am sitting. Ridhi, within the heart. Sannivishtha, I am sitting there. Sarvasa, not only you and me, even animals, insects, birds, bees, Brahma, everyone. Sarvas, all living creatures. So, sarvasa chahang ridhi sanni vishya matta from me smiti jnana apohanancha remembrance, knowledge and forgetfulness. Forgetfulness also. Uh, if you want to forget God, God will give you intelligence that you can forget God forever. He is so kind. Whatever you want, He will give you intelligence. Do like this. So there are two things. There are two living entities. One is trying to forget God and another is trying to uh, remember God. That's all. There are two kinds of people or uh, men, men, not the animals. Animals cannot understand what is God. It is the business of human being. So, if you want to know God sincerely, seriously, then God is within yourself. He will give you intelligence how you can know Him. But if you want to forget God, challenge God, there is no God, God is dead, then He will give you such intelligence that you always think that there is no God, there is, God is dead, that is like that. He uh, will give uh, some arguments. There are so many atheists, they are also putting their arguments. Then where from the argument comes? It comes from God. Uh, that you take this argument and forget God forever. Matta smiti jnana mapohanancha. Vedaisa sarvai ahameva vedyam. The Vedic knowledge means to understand God. That's all. One who has understood God, he has studied all Vedas. Finished. And one who has not understood God, simply studying this literature, that literature, that scripture, that he is simply wasting his time. That's all. Because the ultimate knowledge is God. If one cannot understand what is God after so much education, then Bhagavad says, Samai Vahi Kevalam, it is simply labor, labor, waste of time. Simply waste of time. There is no education. Education, knowledge means ultimately to understand, to know what is God. Uh, <coughs> actually, not fictitiously, vaguely. Uh, so there are many classes of men who have no understanding of God. Some of them are saying God is dead or God is impersonal, there is no God, Geo, I am God, you are God. So many things. All these people do not know what is God. Therefore there are different theories. Therefore somehow or other, if you can understand God, then your life is successful. Somehow or other. Because this human life is especially meant for understanding God. Athata Brahma Jignasa, the Vedanta Sutra. You have heard the name of Vedanta. Vedanta means, Veda means knowledge. And Anta means ultimate. The ultimate knowledge. Therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, 
Vedaista Sarvai, Ahameva Vedya. The ultimate purpose of reading Vedas is to know me. So, who can read Vedanta philosophy? Very learned scholar, he must be. At least he must be very learned scholar in Sanskrit. He must have sufficient brain substance to understand what are these Vedanta sutras, because everything is there in a small aphorism. Just like the first aphorism of Vedanta sutra is, Athato Brahma Jigyasa. Ah, three words, Atha, Atha, Brahma, Jigyas, four words. So it contains volumes of philosophy. But the next aphorism is Janma Adha Sajataha, Janma Adi Asa Jata. From whom Asa Vishasa of this universe, cosmic manifestation, from where this cosmic manifestation has come, and where it rests, and where it dissolves. Janmādhyasya-jataha. In this way, Vedānta Sutra means, uh, gives you the whole purpose of Veda, knowledge, in small code words. So to understand these code words, one must have very big brain uh, or very highly standard educational qualification. Then uh, all the acharyas, uh, uh, those who are controlling Vedic civilization, like Sankaracharya, Madhyacharya, Ramanacharya, they are uh, all written their commentaries on the Vedanta Sutra. Because unless one explains Vedanta Sutra, he will not be accepted as an authorized acharya. He is not, not that anyone can become acharya. He must give explanation of the Vedanta Sutra, prasthanatra. There is a system. So, ultimately, Vedanta Sutra, as Krishna says, Veda is the Sarvai. Sarvai means including Vedanta Sutra. Veda is the Sarvai, Aham Eva Vedyam. I am to be understood. Why? Uh, Vedanta Krit, Vedanta Bhit, Cha Aham. Vedanta Krit, I am the compiler of Vedanta Sutra. The Vedanta Sutra was compiled by Vyasdev, his incarnation of Krishna, Dvipayana of Vyas. So therefore, it is compiled by his incarnation, so it is compiled by him. Because his incarnation, he is the same. So, a Vedanta Krit, when Veda compiler of the Vedanta, and the compiler of the compiler of the Vedanta is Vedanta Bhit, one who knows Vedanta. Because I have written some book, so I know what is the purpose of writing my book. You cannot know. My purpose, you cannot know. There is a, a small instructive story in this, not story, fact, in this collection. <coughs> in Calcutta, there was a great dramatist. He was a very well-known government officer. He wrote one book, Sajaha. That is very famous book for theoretical play. So in that Sajahan means the King Emperor Sajahan. The uh, practically the name which is given on the book, the hero title, he is the hero. So one of the friend of Mr. D. L. Ra, he inquired from Mr. Ra 
that in your book, Sajahan, the actual hero is Aurangzeb. Or why you have given the title, Sajahan? We could not understand it. So I am just trying to explain that the purpose of the book must be known to the author, not others. So the author replied, my dear friend, the actual hero is Sajahan, not Aurangzeb. Although the Sajahan book is full of activities of Aurangzeb. Uh, the fact is that Sajahan was the emperor. He had uh, many, uh, four, five sons, and uh, his wife died, Mumtaz, at an early age. You have seen, those who have gone to India, you have seen the Taj Mahal building. That building was constructed in the memory of that Mumtaj by Sajahan. He spent all his money for constructing that building. So it is one of the seven wonders of the world. So that Sajahan lost his wife at an early age. She was very fond of his wife and because affectionate father, uh, he did not uh, very much uh, chastise his sons, and he spent all his money in constructing the memory of his wife. So when the sons grew up, the third son, Aurangzeb, came out very crooked. And he made a plan how to desert the emperor, empire. He killed his elder brother and other brothers, he arrested his father, Sajahan, said, this is the book subject matter, Sajahan. So whole activities. But the author says that Aurangzeb is not the hero. Hero is Sajahan. Uh, then he explained why. Now because uh, Sajahan was living, sitting in the Agra fort as a prisoner, and all the reactions of Aurangzeb's activities, killing of his other sons, usurping the empire, that was beating on his heart. Therefore he was suffering. He is the hero. So this is an example. The author of a book knows very well what is the purpose of that book. That is my statement. Similarly, this Vedanta Sutra was compiled by Vyasdev or Krishna's incarnation or Krishna himself. So he knows what is Vedanta Sutra. So if you want to understand Vedanta Sutra, then you must understand Krishna. Vedrishta Sarvai Ahameva Vedam. Krishna says also that that by studying all the Vedic literature, one has to understand Krishna. And he also confirms, and Vasudev explains Vedanta Sutra in the Simad Bhagavatam. Because he knew that Vedanta Sutra, being authoritative version of Vedic literature, so many rascals will comment in different way. Therefore, I must leave. That was also done under the instruction of Narad. Uh, he wrote personally a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra, that is Simad Bhagavata. Bhasayam Brahma Sutrana Vidartha Parivinghitam. This Simad Bhagavatam is uh, the right commentary by the author himself. Uh, and the Vedartha Parivinhitam, the purpose of Vedas, the scheme of Vedic literature is explained in the Srimad Bhagavata. So, uh, the human life, Athata Brahma Jigyasa, means, the Vedanta Sutra says, that this life, this human life, is meant for understanding. Uh, um, God, uh, Brahmaji, at least not understanding, at least inquiry, 
Jigasa. Jigasa means inquiry. So, where the inquiry should be made? Huh? If I want to inquire about God, shall I go to the storekeeper, a drug shop, or a motor uh, shop? No. Tadvigyanatham sa guru meva avijachit. If you want to know the transcendental science, then you must find out a guru. That is injunction. Jigyasu sri uttamam gurum prabhaddita tasmang prabhaddita gurum jigyasu sri uttamam if you are actually uh, inquisitive to understand higher science, uttamam, uttamam means higher. These are not higher science. How to earn some money? earn some money and eat something and sleep and have some sex life and die. This is not higher science. This is not higher science. Higher science is Brahma Jigyasa, to inquire about Brahma. That is higher science. Uh, these science, earning money and fulfilling the hungry belly, Hey, the, this science, the birds and beasts also know how to do it. It does not require much education. Uh, there is no scientific education how to enjoy sex life. Everyone knows how to do it. Similarly, there is no need of scientific education how to eat or how to find out your food. The birds and beasts, they are also finding out and they are also eating. So these are not higher sciences. The higher science is to inquire athāta brahma jīgyāsā, to inquire about God, the Supreme. And that can be done by the human being, not by other. Not the cats and dogs. So if we do not give education of this higher science, to the human society. If we keep them dumb about this, or if we make secular state prohibitive uh, in young hands to understand God, then it is an animal society. It is an animal society. Uh, so such things happen sometimes. Uh, so there is a narration of uh, King Bena. The King Bena happened to be an atheist king. Uh, so, because that reason is given that his mother was the daughter of an atheist king. Naranang Matulakrama. It is a scientific fact that a son inherits the quality of the mother and a daughter inherits the quality of father. So the king's, Bela's mother inherited the quality of her father and the Bela, King Bela inherited the quality of grandfather or mother. So he was a thief king. Atheist king. When he became king, he was very powerful, strong, but atheist. So when he became king, because he was very powerful, he declared by drum beating, what is that? No just abhyam, no dat abhyam, no hut abhyam, dija kachit, iti nabharayat dharmam bheri ghosena sarvata. Bheri ghosena means by sound of bhivu. Formerly, when there was some declaration uh, by the king, by the government, uh, one should go in the marketplace 
and government man and take a drum and and one bugle and they will uh, declare uh, this is the law from this day that's all no more gazette uh, so this is the old system some are still existing uh, so the bela king declared that these are all nonsense uh, what is this not just tabyam no more worship of god no more sacrifice no that of bomb no more charity no oh. stop all this no that of bomb no hoot of bomb ah no more offering ablation to the fire sacrifice bija kachitis this business was meant for the brahmanas therefore bija he is restricting the brahmanas so don't do all this nonsense anymore diya kachi ah uh, iti namaray dharmam in this way he stopped or all, all religious activities very bhushena sarva ah uh, the formerly the king was controlled by saintly person by priestly order they would give the king advice the vedic society is divided into four classes of men it is confirmed in the bhagavad gita ah uh, chatur varnam maya sistam guna karma vibhagas according to quality and what there are four divisions of men ah uh, the brahman the intelligent class of men the chhatriyas the administrative class of men the martial class of men and the vaishyas the productive class of men and the shudras the worker class of men now that is still existing in a different net but the difficulty is ah uh, the classification is not made according to quality and work uh that was the actual position of classification uh nowadays a shudra is on the government a person who is a nonsense number 1 he has no knowledge he is on the head of the board the things have been stopped it is a person uh on religious category uh he is advocating something oh it is not to be at uh, homosex you see he is advocating homo homosex the see these has been topsy turvy the four classes of men are there still but the third class fourth class man is taking the place of first class and the first class man is Licked out, uh, kicked out, go out. Don't talk of God. This is the position at the present moment. The classes are there. Ah, that is natural. There must be some first class man. There must be some second class man. There must be some third class man. There must be some fourth class man. But the difficulty is that the fourth class man. is taking the position of first class man and the first class man is being kicked up therefore there are so many problems in the society ah guna karma vibhagas first class man must be acting first class but he is acting as uh, last class but he is posed in first class things have been topsy turvy uh, so it is the duty of the government to find out the first class man and employ him for first class business for first class activities and what is that first class activity the first class activity is athato brahma jigyasa 
That is first class activity. Otherwise, it is fourth class activity. Uh, if the human society is not divided into right order, chātur-varna-maya system gunakarma vibhāgas, uh, and it is the duty of the government to see that the first class man is employed in first class activities, the second class man is a and engaged in sinclair activities, then the government will be nice. Uh, now here, the Bena Maharaj, he is on the head of the administration, royal king. Now he is advising uh, reject religion, no more charity, no more sacrifice, no more worship, stop all this nonsense. Then what is the condition of the society? Uh, <clears throat> so that is being done. So it will take some time to explain uh, <clears throat> about these activities of first class, second class, third class men. Uh, it is a great science. So we shall try to explain one after another. You please come on Sunday. I shall hold this class. Uh, for the time being, excuse me. Thank you very much. Please.
जाए उस बात पर मंगस परिभा जगाचा जस्त करे श्री समाद अति धाम दिसर श्री गोस्वामी को बात की जाए अंत पूरी वचन में की जाए नावाचा जैसे हरिदास साफ की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर सुभाष आदि बहु भक्त में दिया श्री राधा कृष्ण को गोपना शाम खंड राधा खंड गिरी वंदन की जाए वृंदावन धाम की जाए नवदीप धाम की जाए गंगा माई की जाए जमुना माई की जाए गुरु द्वारका धाम की जाए स्वामी तो भक्तविंद की जाए और ग्लोरी सुधर समय और ग्लोरी सुधर समय थैंक यू वेरी मच